So look, we're doing this, all right? We've got hot water here, all right? You're gonna get the brush, wet it under the hot tap, straight on the solid. Look, it lifts it out, straight on the solid, right? Then what we're gonna do, take a little friction pad, woo, rub it in, wet it a bit more, rub it in so you really get a good clean, scrum it round, And then we're just gonna rinse this, rinse this. Clean as a whistle. Clean as a whistle. It's beautiful. Right? That was a dark foundation on there, gone. Let's do another one. Let's see how long it takes to clean our brushes because people are saying, well, does it take ages? No, look, two at one. Oh my God, I'm double teaming. One, two, three. Get the heart up here. Wet it a bit more if you want to. Scrub it around. Okay, rinse, 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 rinse. Flick. Done. Clean. It takes seconds. It literally takes seconds. This was his foundation brush. Rub, 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 rub. You getting this? Rinse, rinse, done. Okay, let's go for, this has uh, my Alco color in it. Okay, so Alco color is a vinyl paint. So let's see how it does. We're gonna wet it under the hot tap. So this is like all of those alcohol palettes that you've seen. Here's the black. Oh look, it takes alcohol color out. Alcohol color is made of a vinyl paint. I like to work this like this when I do this one. You can see it. Can you see the black coming out? And this is like a calligraphy brush. This is a crazy brush. We're gonna scrub, 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 scrub. Okay? I'm gonna rinse. Try not to burn my hands. Out. Alcohol color. Alcohol color. Right? Alcohol color. Can we say it again? Let's hear it for alcohol color. Now, my 4K long wear creams. Okay, they're waterproof, they're friction proof. This is natural hair. I'm gonna rinse that out of the Alco color. 4K long wear cream going in. Straight out. Straight out. Again, take the heart. I love these little hearts. It's like I put so much love into my stuff, it was really appropriate for me to make a heart. Or to have a heart in my kit. Okay, I'm gonna rinse that out. Water's getting hot. Done. Done. The hair is conditioned. The hair is clean. Now, let's use a vegan with the vegan brush shampoo. And also, when you finish with your brush shampoo, I like to give it a little rinse like this and then turn it upside down and dry it upside down. There's another little tip. Okay, so this brush, my vegan, Straight on the solid, see that? That's got 4K long wear cream in it. God, that was a really nice color I mixed, wasn't it? So, straight out. Okay, let's scrub it. Generally, with the vegan, we get the pink love heart. Red is for the goat milk. So if you look on our cleaning kits online, which we have, then you can identify it more easily, okay? Need a little bit more. There it is, I didn't get it out enough. Okay, done. Clean, clean and safe. Now, the final thing that I wanna show you. Oh, actually, let's do one more stuff bit. I've gotta clean all my brushes anyway, so why not? Back with the goat milk, straight on, out with the product, on the heart, 
Rub, 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 rub. Rinse, rinse, done. Now, what I have here is an anti-back sponge cloth. Can you see how this is hard, right? I'm gonna turn the camera on to me now. So you know this is hard. I can't condone throwing things away like we do. And I have these anti-back sponge cloths. You can chuck them in the washing machine. You can wash them with brush shampoo. Let me rinse these. But you can wipe off your brushes on them instead of paper towel. I was going through three rolls of paper towel a week in my makeup trailer on a movie. And I just, I can't do it. I just cannot do it. So my sponge cloths are reusable. Everything can wipe off on them. And we're not throwing away paper towel and we're helping the planet because we got to get with it. We got to get.